Well, you you were uh, t- we're, we touched on this. Like well, Aqualon, the song itself is is it about treatment of the homeless population? Was that? Uh, it's really more about our reaction to the homeless, the embarrassment, the sense of, uh, in some cases, hopelessness, of tragedy, of sadness, but also a degree of fear, a degree of discomfort. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we, we have very mixed emotions in in regard to a lot of things about which we could be charitable. And um, I think the song is, for me, more about about our reaction to the homeless rather than specifically going into the detail of the homeless themselves, which would be presumptuous on my part, perhaps because I've been in that situation. It wouldn't be as disingenuous for me to write about being homeless, perhaps, as it would be for me to write about picking cotton in the Mississippi belt in the in the 90, early 1900s and um, you know painting my face black and pretending to be an authentic mm-hmm. black American blues singer you know it would be some stuff you just have to stand back and say I can't do that, that that's just you know that that would not that would not be right coming from from me and so I, I have to fall short sometimes of writing in a way that um, I think I can't be authoritative because I can't really know how somebody feels. I do I do write songs in the first person, yeah, but they're not me. They're, they are about a character that I've invented, and I am inventing yeah. that persona and inhabiting that as a as a writer would, as a screenwriter would write lines to be acted out by an actor. So sometimes that's part of the way I write songs. And therefore you shouldn't always assume it just because I say I and me in a song that yeah. what is being said is actually my own personal true inner belief or sentiment. 